any good college athletic director will have a list of names in one of his top desk drawers. Those are the coaches for the school's programs that would be possible replacements if any of his current coaches were to leave. VCU's Ed McLaughlin has just such a list and because of his contacts was able to announce the Rams new men's basketball coach just hours after Mike Rhodes had officially been announced at Penn State. As we first told you last night, the top name on VCU's list was that of Ryan Odom. Late this afternoon, he was officially announced as the 13th head coach in school history. Odom played collegiately at Hamden Sydney and has been an assistant at Virginia Tech and American, among other stops, as well as the head coach at Lenore Rhine, UMBC, and Utah State. His UMBC tenure was highlighted by their upset win over Virginia in the first round of the 2018 NCAA tournament, the first time a 16 seed ever beat a number one. And this past year, he took Utah State to the big dance as well. He comes back to lead another NCAA tournament program that is coming off an A-10 championship. He released a statement that read, quote, in part, quote, Lucia, his wife, and I could not be more excited about joining the VCU and greater Richmond communities. We look forward to continuing the incredible tradition of excellence that VCU basketball has embodied for many years. We are humbled with the honor of leading this outstanding program and will fight each day to produce a program our university alumni and fans can be extremely proud to call their own. Now, as for the man he is replacing, now former head coach Mike Rhodes will be introduced at Penn State tomorrow afternoon. Rhodes reportedly gets a seven year deal worth $25 million total to be the Nittany Lions new head coach. He was 129 and 61 in six seasons here with the Rams to include two A-10 regular season titles, a conference championship this past year, and three NCAA tournament appearances. Rhodes grew up about two hours from the Penn State campus and was the Division III National Player of the Year at Lebanon Valley in Southern Pennsylvania. The Nittany Lions are coming off their first NCAA appearance since 2011. Rhodes released a statement today that read in part, my family and I want to thank you for 11 awesome years. It was a dream come true to coach with some many special talented and passionate players and coaches. Thank you to all the students and Peppas for showing and being loud. Study hard, laugh a lot, follow your dreams, make as many friends as you can. It's all about your journey and enjoy it.